This is the second video in the Brain Twister Combo series. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you four new elements and showing you how to incorporate these into your combos. These elements are the Wave Rider, Rolling, Unrolling, the Manual Unwrap, and the Slack Unwrap. Now, as you may have noticed, at the start of that combo, I did a few brain twisters. As you know from our brain twister video, performing this trick will wrap the string around your finger. This can be used to artificially shorten the string, and it, sometimes it can make it easier to land the tricks and to speed them up. Now, you can use one, two, or three fingers. Just know that the more fingers you use, the more the string will wrap around your finger per revolution. So, now that we have that taken care of, let's take a look at Wave Rider. Now, the first step in Wave Rider looks very similar to the reverse flip, but instead of moving your hands around each other, you're going to try and keep your hands still. You're going to toss the yo-yo back and catch it with your throw hand. Now, once you're here, you're going to throw the yo-yo from your throw hand to your non-throw hand. This will end you back in the same places where you started, and you can do Wave Rider as many times as you would like. The more still you keep your hands, the better the trick will look. You can also do Wave Rider on the outside by pointing your throw hand fingers outwards. Next is rolling and unrolling. Now this trick is fairly self-explanatory. You're going to roll the yo-yo forward on your non-throw hand, and you can do this as many times as you like. But you'll notice that with every revolution, it adds a wrap to your finger and shortens the string going to the yo-yo. You'll want to be careful that you don't roll the yo-yo too many times because eventually it will hit your finger and stop spinning. So once you've got this down, it's time to unwrap the yo-yo. The most simple and straightforward method is unrolling. All you need to do is roll the yo-yo in the opposite direction. Now, if you want to add a bit of flair to this, you can do the slack unwrap. Now, you'll notice that this slack element is identical to the flourish in the second trick that we teach in our go-to binds video. You can perform this with as many wraps on your finger as you would like. Now, a common mistake that players have while learning this is the string getting tangled up like this. All that that means is that the slack isn't going over the top of your finger. To correct this, all you need to do is throw the slack higher so that it clears your finger. This will keep it from getting tangled up as when you throw it too low. Now, the manual unwrap is a bit easier to learn, but we do recommend artificially shortening your string like we mentioned earlier in the video. This can make it easier to learn the trick and make it look better. Now, to perform this element, you're going to rotate your throw hand around the front of your non-throw hand and underneath the yo-yo. You'll want to make sure that the string is going in between the yo-yo and your non-throw hand. Now, note that while performing this element, it does add a wrap to your throw hand. You can prevent this by curling your fingers inwards. Once you've learned these four elements, it's time to start stacking them with each other and with the other elements that you've learned in this video series. This first stacked element incorporates the manual unwrap and unrolling. When performed together, it should look like this, and you'll notice that it removes two wraps of string from your finger. Now, if you're having trouble performing this stacked element, you want to make sure that the yo-yo and the string are on a separate plane so that your yo-yo doesn't get all knotted up. Next is the Wave Rider. Now, there's lots of different ways to stack elements within the Wave Rider. Using the forward momentum, you can go double on. From here, you can also do a double on Wave Rider. You can also use the reverse momentum to go double on the Brain Twister mount. There's lots of different ways to dismount from here. One way is doing a Brain Twister right out of it. So, Learn these four elements, start stacking them together, and you're one step closer to building the ultimate brain twister combo.